Hello and welcome back. In between episodes, as you can see probably at the top right, I spent some time. I spent some time weeding again. <laughs> um, but we are now electronics level 10, skill level 10. So, oh, um, once our stats recover from what? Lacking sleep, thirst, and cold. Yes, uh, we will probably try to install more bionics. Um, once, yes, the character sleeps. And I looked to recipes in between episodes. I will probably, uh, probably go over some uh, in a moment. But there were, like, I specifically looked at cooking recipes and there are way too many. Because we need a higher cooking skill and I don't know if I fi will find a skill book anytime soon. And I really need, uh, want to mutate soon. It's really annoying that we didn't find cooking books of all things in the libraries. Well, high enough level cooking books, that is. Not just any cooking book. I don't even know if there is one from from four to eight, but I imagine there is. Um. Oh yes, and I can't meet. We have no water. I've. We have. Wine. Hmm. Do I have any in? I have some in my boxes. An atomic energy drink I don't really want to drink. Yes, hmm. Uh, we will need to go find water. What is this? A two-story motel. That's where we where we got. We might be able to find like a vendor machine in this motel. And it was like one tile away from the road. That's why you not drive at night. Oh no, I believe we, dri we drove up this road, so we probably didn't see it because of that. And there are craters. Hmm. Um, I did go over recipes. So... Specifically, cooking recipes. Um, we are currently level 4, so it would take a lot of cooking to reach level 5 obviously so I need some recipe that uses like no rare ingredients like what um, for example for this we would need raw pasta and clean water and Italian seasoning and meat and stuff like that so a simple recipe I can get the ingredients for very quickly uh, what I came up with is cooking oil because cooking oil we can make from fluid sex we get from every fungoid and nothing else well and a fire nearby so this is all skill level this is difficulty 4 and it is very easy to get the ingredients if we don't get infected by fungoid which is a major problem for me I hate that um, and we can do that pretty much from home, because if you remember, there are fungal flowers and towers everywhere, everywhere on this map. Was what was this green sea again? I forgot already. Or oh, cabin. Hmm. So yes, in this episode we will probably loot the motel first. Um, here's nothing interesting left. Yes, uh, there was some random animal that walked up to me that I bashed over the head, but not really exciting. And I laid the bracer down to make a fire. Um, it's daylight, so I can drive? Yes. Oh, no, it is too heavy. Um, but let's quickly go to zero. Um, I will probably just grab the most heavy thing. Uh, sort by weight from this 
I can take you and you and... Why is the symbol of the judgment in there? That shouldn't be there in, uh, in there anyway. Um, the long ropes have a somewhat okay weight for their volume. Yes, now we can drive. Um, I believe I already noted or said that. Apparently it doesn't count your inventory in the vehicle weight. Which is stupid, but hey. Obviously it is not too heavy if I have it in my hands. Right? Or in my backpack, I guess. And... We don't have the blocking effect. Oh yes, we are using medieval swordsmanship. I was wondering why we take like no damage. Hm. Um, zoom out a little bit. Yes, definitely. A motel. What is this? Is this a tank? I believe this is a tank. Uh, nothing useful right now. Yes, light tank. Hm. Um, maybe this was like why the zombie walked into our direction? I believe we saw a zombie last episode. I'm not sure if that was last episode. Um, let's quickly kill the zombies and probably butcher them for the survival skill. Oh, he has a Glock. Okay. And a first aid kit. Very useful. Um, I believe we should still gain survival skill. Well, we probably need to butcher like five or something like that. Why does it say. Okay. I was wondering why it specifically said GUI fed in the log, but hey. Earplugs. Uh, yes, we will take a pair of earplugs. Very useful. Uh, normal machine gun ammunition. What is BMG ball? Rifle round, long range fuse, whatever. Hmm. I will have to drop something if I want to take ammunition with me. Do I want to take ammunition with me? Hmm. Let's put the long rope around or waist or something. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, we are too heavy. Hmm. That's a bad thing. Apparently we have tank ammunition here. Ah. Uh, not that useful for us. I mean, I guess we could fire the tank if the gun is okay. Problem with that is, why? Uh, the gun is pretty damaged. I wouldn't want to fire a gun that is that, like, broken. Uh, let's quickly drop stuff in front of a vehicle. In fact, let's go a little bit closer to the building. Uh, something like here is okay. Are we still cold? No. Hmm. We don't seem to have any problem with normal zombies anymore. Like at all. Either we are protected by our armor or it fails to hit, hit us or we block. So yes. Oh yes, or we dodge. We don't have the weird blocking thing in our effects uh, section of our character's screen anymore, so I assume we can dodge, I hope. But I should really get rid of like some clothing at our torso and probably our arms, so we can... Oh, speaking skill work, so we can hit better and faster, but it's really cold right now. Um, let's grab our vehicle before it gets completely dark and go like in front of the door and drop some stuff. What do we want to drop? Uh, this, this, the ammunition, the bracer we don't need in our inventory. Um, 
I will keep my panic scroll. Internal furnace. Yes, we still need to recover some of our intelligence. Uh, if you don't know that intelligence helps you installing CBMs. The same as the skills. I will first of all probably drop the hard arm guards. There are a lot of encumbrance for armor and I don't believe we need it anymore. I really want to repair the model pack, uh, the model pack but I would just destroy it if I would to, if I would try it right now. Um, I could get rid of the cloak and the balaclava. Uh, let's quickly check our encumbrance. Definitely get rid of some of our torso encumbrance. And the mouth encumbrance from the balaclava will definitely like worsen our stamina gain, but I don't believe we'll gain any at the moment anyways. Um, black encumbrance is fine, I don't mind that. I will drop the cloak and the balaclava for the moment. Uh, no, don't stop dropping. And we are able to hit again? <laughs> yes, we are able to hit a little bit better again. Even though our toss encumbrance is still pretty shitty. <sighs> encumbrance management. Hmm. Probably get rid of the army jacket. But that's like all the warms we have. Uh, warm. We have right now. And maybe enough to wear the worm skin armor. I will drop the worm and not the worm skin armor, the army jacket. Until we get cold. Then I will run back and grab it. Uh, mineral water. Let's drink. <laughs> we need thirst really fast. So yes, this potato chips always appreciated. Rotten juice. Whatever. Uh, food in here. More food and I believe this is drink. Oh no, V8 is also food. Okay. Hmm. And no specific drinking. Okay, lots of food, no drink. Other than what lay uh, was in front of it apparently. That's uncool. A little bit. Okay, let's smash this in. Uh, let's eat. Nachos, why not? Hmm. That's very uh, beneficial for us that there's no specific like drink section. But we will manage. There's probably a pool or something here. Yes, this is a swimmer, uh, swimmer zombie, so I would assume there's a pool around. Somewhere. I hope. And this... oh. Oh yes, those are shady zombies, so we should be able... Oh my god, did one of it hit us? <gasps> How dare it. Um, we should get essences from this. So that's very beneficial. If it is like two essences per zombie, oh, I should finish that, um, that's like two shots with our lovely, lovely um, symbol of judgment. I'm currently just checking on my clothing. Um, because of I didn't see exactly what got damaged. We did rise or bashing weapon skill because we used it obviously but what is elated first of all perfect defense apparently to our medieval swordsmanship we got bonus dodges after an attack 
But what is elated? Oh, was it a benefit from one of the drinks or one of the snacks? Hmm. Cancels at, l at least the pain out. Uh, we could try to install the CVM right now. Yes, every single zombie here should give us a, an essence. A shotgun. I don't need a shotgun. Uh, computer gaming, just for fun. I will butcher them, just in case the shady zombies give us like essences. Oh, uh, essences if we butcher them. Apparently not every single one has a has a essence, but most of them had. We have three essences from this shady zombie encounter. Hmm. So in big cities we should be able to get enough uh, essences to deal with like all shock and uh, shocker and um, Hulk zombies and stuff like that. World map tourist guide. Hmm. This is a glossy printed pamphlet for tourists that details local hotels and attractions. Pamphlet. Hmm. Um, sorry for that. Um, I may be willing to go back to our base and use it here, but we may also use that up here, like in this area, and discover eventually some cities up here. That would be useful. So, a good find. And no, no essences from butchering. Uh, a pretty beat up motorcycle. Yes, no. Mm. Not that I would change but, uh, bulky away anyway. Oh, yes, it is a two story motel. This is a very weird graphic. Hmm. Let's smash in the window and check some of the motel rooms. I don't believe there's anything good in them. Maybe at the beginning, like clothing or something, but not even that apparently. Or maybe this level is not like correctly filled with loot because it is the second level. Because there is not even oh no, there is the occasional Bible and phone book. In fact, oh yes, I need light to whip out pages. Um, that's interesting for paper at least. Like a phone book with 200 pages? Hmm. I will take those with me, like some of them, just for the paper at the moment. Oh. You stop jumping over me. I can't. Or jump in that direction a little bit further, please. No? Okay, his corpse just fell down. Hmm, cool. I did not manage to do that before. Well, he, it was probably completely unbeneficial to me because he was already dead. Everything that means is that I have to switch, like, stories. Uh, oh, um, switch stories now to loot him, but hey. Uh, there's a lot of zombies here. Oh! We got hit again. Like, slightly scratched, I guess. Hmm. I don't know if there's anything better than the food dispensers and, or like, vending machines, or world maps you can find in a motel. I don't believe so. Maybe some tools in, like, some sort of janitor room. That might be something that is around here, but we have something got damaged. Um, my tank top is ripped. Hmm. Um, and yes, obviously the tank top is ripped. I am ripped. Did you see my strength? Uh, strength score without the wing of stupid angels. A Glock. Why do so many people have a Glock 19? 
or a loaded M1 911 or 1911? No idea. Um, Sidearm. Okay. More ammunition. Everybody here has a gun. But nothing interesting. Oh, uh, never mind. A basic repair kit. That's like 100 duct tape right there. I will just smash those. It takes too long to butcher. Even though it is probably the optimal play. Even though I don't believe we can train or... Oh yes! Okay. I have now the permission to butcher... N uh, to smash everything because our skill is high enough that butchering doesn't do anything for us anymore. Hmm. That's bad, but at least I don't have to spend the time butchering anymore. Smashing is like, I believe, may even take longer in-game. No, it, it probably doesn't take longer than butchering them in-game. But it takes like a second less for me to do. Like, press the button. <coughs> Sorry. Um, oh, clothing. The first piece of clothing in an entire story... Uh, how do you say it? A uh, story of the mortal. Die and give me jeans. No. Hmm. We are probably good on on the clothing part. Soldering iron always useful for the like uh, components. The soldering alone or whatever it was called. A hoodie and a suitcase. No. Mm, more clothing? No. I may not check every single room from here on. What are you? This creature? Zombie? A thin corpse? A chest is swollen in what appears to be preparation. A thick black ooze drips from its open mouth. Um. Okay. Please die. I will butcher him, because he's new. But he doesn't seem to give you anything amazing, so... Hmm. Whatever that was. Anything in here? I believe we are already finished with the motor then. Yes, I will probably not check the rest of the rooms. Probably nothing interesting in here. Bible... Bibles, phone book, uh, books, and the occasional pair of pants. Nothing too interesting. Oh, I should at least smash you. You strange, strange jumper zombie. A mortal is probably the perfect place to gather wax from because of all the bats. Like every bat is like 400 wax. Like this four bat space. Hmm. So for that it is probably interesting, but yes, I will just eat again and then probably leave already because I didn't see a pool. It's probably up here. Oh, that was a misplaced. Um, up here somewhere. Oh, what is random garbage? Okay. Random garbage on the parking lot. Pool, pool. Yes, so we can cook water in the mo in the morrow, basically, um, because I will sleep now, and we should wake up roughly at daytime. Um, so the de the dehydration is taken care of. Probably continue our way back home in this episode, and <clears throat> probably take the plant serum once I'm there. Simply so I mute it before I grind out four levels of uh, of cooking. Hmm. There was another mansion, if I'm not mistaken, to our north. Oh. Wow. Oh, Molly Pack is destroyed, obviously. Ugh. Hits your head. I will quickly check on. What? I wanted to check the log. 
Oh. Ah, uh, H? Yes. I moved the screen by accident. This is dangerous if you didn't notice because mooses are, well, strong somewhat. Can we kill it? Please don't budge me in my sleep. It is dead. And it is a big chunk of meat. Uh, we don't have... I have duffel bags, right? I took those with me. Yes. Uh, JK. Uh, where and... Where the second one? I could probably wear the earplugs 24-7 now. Hmm. I will take the bones with me and the offals and cook them in a... Like, not the bones, but the rest. The rest I will cook in a minute. Uh, give me all of this. Hmm. The duffel bag being destroyed is pretty unpleasant, but I should probably not have worn two of them anyways. One is more than enough normally. Uh, no, don't want to leave that behind. It woke us up a little bit before daytime. Hmm. Uh, let's place... I will quickly destroy the underbrush in the surrounding. The brazer. Oh, not drop it, activate it. Uh, there or something. Drop a piece of paper, set it on fire, and let's fill our gallon jug with new water. So yes, in the next episode I will probably just drink the plant serum and hope that we are not getting the very, very, very shitty um, parts of the plant mutation tree. Because I took plant serum in the past before, like in the past, and yes, there are some very shitty things that can that can come from it. Uh, yes, because he is probably right next to me. Um, and the benefits are like not that big. I believe you, or what I got was like some mutation that sometimes gave me some like drink back. That had like a very slight effect on my drinking or something. So yes. Hmm. Um I don't know, maybe the most amazing mutation in the entire game is in there. But I kind of doubt it. Oh. I didn't want to cook meat. <sighs> Some water, and then I will probably cook everything we found from the moose. Hmm. <laughs> 15 water in the gallon jug should bring us, like, over the next days, I hope. Uh, pour into container, gallon jug. Okay. Uh, I should probably fill the other gallon jug as well. Let's quickly do that. Um, where is it? Oh yes, we could make cooking oil right now because we have some fluid sacks either on us or in our car. But the problem with that is we sh we would use an entire container for like one thingy of cooking oil. And it would have like no benefit to us because before I will be... Um, Rain, uh, basically grinding out a cooking skill level there will probably be enough time that it will just rust away like until we have enough fluid sacks that I'm willing to consider spending a lot of time cooking oil I will can another piece of meat with the water nearby I hope he first cleans the water and then cans it and does not just use the water, but hey, uh, I don't care if there's a zombie child. There's nothing more around here, right? No. There is something up here, and I'm probably checking it out before I move back to base. Like, in the next episode, maybe take, like, a way up here, check out those roads, those three, and hope that there's something good at the end of it. 
I would love another science lab or another mansion or something. Because that would probably give us a cooking book. Um, where is... There's cooking meat. <laughs> but yes, I will probably end the episode here. And in the next episode we will explore a lot, I hope. If there's anything interesting in that. Which I kind of expect, because there are no roads that lead nowhere. Let's quickly drink and... Yes, I will end the episode here, so goodbye and have a wonderful day.